going on guys? Behind me, we've got the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. This thing sustained a fire and we have been putting it together on this channel. So here is the Hellcat, here is a Brett. And between the two of us, today our goal on the car is to get this stuff sanded out. So we've got a DA with some sandpaper. Brett's hitting the flat spots right here. We've also got a sandblaster with some media. And we're gonna try to clean this thing up as much as possible. And I think the goal is to hopefully get it at least into primer, maybe into paint. So hopefully we'll accomplish that in this episode, but let's get to sanding, get to media blasting. And as you guys see it the way it is now, lots of like, what do you say? Like little metal chunks. Crustaceans. Yeah, there's like some metal bits that are like stuck here, kind of molted to it. So that, there's a lot of like plastic goo and bits and yeah. We gotta do that and yeah, just overall just clean everything up so that we can get some uh, self-fetching primer on here and then get to paint. So that's the way you see it. A lot of nasty areas over here too. It's a lot of just smoke and whatnot. So we're gonna clean all this up and let's see how far we get. This is anything but fun, you guys. Nasty, nasty stuff. Definitely need to get some real compressors. This is just full of moisture. All right, guys, so it is the next day. Shout out to Brett for giving me a hand. We put in a lot of sanding on this yesterday. So here's the outcome. We got pretty much all of it. I still have to do some finishing touches, but overall, a lot of the junk is off and out, and it came out pretty dang good. So, almost ready for some self etching primer. Like I said, a few spots over here. I actually got to use a little bit of goo gone over here because we did have this duct taped when I was transporting it, and there's still some like goo there, and maybe just a couple small surface rust areas that need to be knocked off before we're actually ready to go to primer. But overall, pretty dang good, you guys. Haven't touched inside yet, so I'm gonna just keep messing with it. It's not too exciting stuff, in my opinion, as far as the sanding process of this whole thing, but it is just stuff that has to get done. So we're gonna keep sanding this down, and then I'll move on to the inside. I'll show you guys all that, and then uh, hopefully we can hit this thing with some primer today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a self-etching primer on this section here, because I'm trying to get um, as much done as possible. You can see the sun is pretty much setting and I gotta get some of this stuff sealed up because it's a bit of a pain in the butt since it's down here in South Florida. If you leave any exposed metal overnight, it's so humid that you get like flash rusting that you can see over there and then you end up having to sand it all off again. So right here, I've got this side all sectioned off. I'm gonna get to about here, see how much I can get done. Um, it's just the exposed metal part. So we really have to just seal back up and then uh, we'll see how much you know I can make do with. I just threw a cover over this, just an old car cover. So I'm gonna use that for that purpose and then I'm just gonna come in through here and give this a dusting. So let me uh, show you guys what it looks like in a second. All right guys, well, sun is going down and I'm running a day late for today. So I'm gonna continue tomorrow and I think Brett's actually coming by. But I did manage to, I said I was gonna do this, but I managed to get a coat or most of at least the bare metal areas. I. Uh, didn't quite, I was super busy today and I didn't get a second can, so managed to at least get all the bare metal areas, but had to uh, kind of skimp out a little bit, but there wasn't any bare metal there, so didn't really have to do a coat. We're gonna be doing primer anyways, but this was just uh, self etching primer just to get the bare metal spots. But uh, anyways, glad I was able to get it mostly covered up. If it looks darker and lighter, it's cause it's still wet on this side, but um, yeah, kind of just covered it up roughly. Like I said, we're gonna kind of blow things in when we actually paint it orange and some of the factory stuff like this is factory it's still primer down to there um so that's why i kind of wasn't too worried about making a hard edge taping off to here because like i said when we come through with the orange we're going to kind of blow it in the same way the factory would covered up the wheels i was just using a garbage bag there um like i said the subframe is getting changed because this one's got a huge dent in it so wasn't too worried about getting paint on that and then yeah i had this uh a garbage bag on this wheel before as well but when i went over there i uh didn't really do anything plus these wheels if you guys do or don't know we only got three of them and one of them's uh, got a bit of a curb rash on it because 
I don't have the fourth one because that one was tacoed, if you guys remember. But yeah, came out uh, pretty good. But continue this job when we have more daylight right, in the morning. We're back, and Brett's back. Hi, guys. <laughs> so check out his shirt. So these are on our website, you guys. Got the Boosted Motorsports shirt along with a bunch of other designs. What do you awesome think? Awesome shirt. Fit and so feels nice. decent. Feels fantastic. Heck yeah. So what we're about to do right now is we did the Vera Prime or the self etching Primer yesterday, but kind of ran out of a can, so we got to do a little bit more, but I'm also removing the front K member. It's just going to make it a little bit easier because yesterday with the wheels and everything on here, we weren't really able to get up into here. So can do a little bit of sanding in here get some self etching primer on there then we'll get actual primer and uh, that way our fender liners are done as well our inner fenders so let's get this out of here all right so a little update for you guys k members out and you guys didn't really miss anything even though there was a lot of hours that went into it we just did pretty much the same thing we ended up scuffing up everything we got another coat of self-etching primer on it and then we also got self-etching primer on our inner fenders on both sides and then brett pointed out that we're going to get like the transmission tunnel area once we get it up on the lift because uh to try to lay on our back there would just kind of suck so we're gonna do uh we'll probably sand it once we get it up on the lift in a little bit but right now we are going to switch to regular primer right that is correct we just did a fine sanding for it to stick we'll put a nice coat of primer on it do a light sanding then start our base coat stuff uh, and hopefully get it into orange by later tonight hey so that, that's the plan and we haven't touched the inside of the firewall yet but we at least want to get a nice coat of primer and we were kind of talking as far as how much primer to put on this this paint job me and brett are both agreeing this is better than the factory stuff like the factory stuff a lot of places doesn't even have any orange probably can't really see it now but like in here like a lot of it's just primered um and that was like that throughout so they really don't do like a fancy job in here because fender liners and everything else go in here same thing with here this is actually going to be nicer than the factory was through here we actually sanded a lot of factory imperfections out during the process so by us having one coat of self-etching primer and then one coat of actual primer we essentially have two coats of primer before we switch over to our base color and then we can go over to clear anyways we're going to hit this with primer and then we'll move on hey check this out you guys she is all one gray color so this is starting to look pretty good what do you think oh i think it's looking amazing it's so much better it's just like because when me and brett started he was here when we yanked the transmission yanked the engine so he saw this when there was literally like molten goo and plastic and goop and guck and just everything and anything fluids it's like the solid plastic that was melted to all inside the fender wells to the crazy. aluminum even yeah molten metal was stuck to like this one there's just yep just to see it now looking pretty decent like this and me and brett keep saying this is better than the factory paint like again this is factory paint where they just kind of dusted it in the only thing the factory really does is they kind of just they blow in some color and some clear on the shock towers and then that's about it but to their defense, it's pretty much all you see when you put all the crap in here that goes into one of these engine bays. We went overkill. John wanted to be his OCD self. Can't can't stop it. <laughs> so, can't help uh, it. It's gonna have to happen. Yeah, back to normal. So, you know. but this thing is gonna look so good, you, you guys. So, I think what we're gonna do is we kind of discussed is just because we're kind of running out a little bit of time. We don't want to start sanding and making more dirt and stuff when we're like so close to paint on this side and really this you might kind of see obviously but by the time you put the interior back in like the by the time you put the dash and all that stuff in you will never see the inside of that so we're gonna spend more of our time here so with that being said we're probably gonna end up scrubbing this so we'll end up scuffing this all with uh, our scotch bright pads and then we're gonna hit it with some color and then hopefully clear so this might be orange at least the engine bay and like i said we'll probably put off the firewall from the inside until maybe another what day color orange is it my favorite go man go oh we're go let's go <laughs> so all right give us a few minutes and you might see some orange happening in a bit
check it out you guys so we are all in primer we ended up wax and grease removing it right now brett's just spraying it down with a bully dog adhesion promoter and we are going into color in a minute here so pretty exciting stuff we got it all tarps down we're just doing this diy style so it is just the engine bay but yeah should be uh pretty exciting here in a few minutes Ready? yep so do you want me to just do one and then stop no keep going so start at the beginning of the vase there you go 50 percent overlap there you go freaking Animals. hell yeah brother that actually covers pretty good it does and you're doing a great job yeah. keep going Bad. You want to turn it back a little bit? You're a little, okay. A little less paint volume? Nope, you're okay. You can turn it down if you want, but I think you're doing a good job. You're covering good. Okay, turn it in a quarter turn. In. Yeah. There you go. Don't let that stuff dry on you. You got to keep it wet. So get moving. Go down all the way. Hit it again. Hit that one again. Remember, 50% overlaps. Okay? 50% overlaps. Fifty percent overlap. Cool. You're doing great, dude. You're getting this down. You think? Yeah, you're doing great, dude. Seriously. Here comes the piece of the resistance, so make sure you hit those towers good. There you go, 50% overlaps, there you go. How much for doing a death coat? That's okay, it's turned out good. I know. That works pretty good though, huh? It does. And that's the thing. Hey, we got an engine orange bay. Wait, I messed that up, didn't I? You sure did. It's called Mango Man. Man, look at this go and this mango. Let's go. So we need some clear on it, yep. but we got this all done. Um, should we tell them about the paint? Yep, uh, Mango Man is the orange color we're using. No, not that. God damn it. He, well, didn't, he didn't want to tell. He didn't want to admit it. I don't. Okay. I don't. So here's what we did. We did we did a little bit of shortening on the paint. But well, so what happened was when we went to the paint store, they gave us two options. One was to get paint that was just pure paint, and then you reduce it yourself. The other option, which was option two, was to get the paint ready to spray, which was already reduced. So we got a pint because we figured whatever, it's just the engine bay. We chewed through that pint. It so. went through it quick. <laughs> but the good news is that gun, even though it was just a Harbor Freight premium gun, yep. it actually covered pretty good. So pretty dang good. And we got most of the main parts all covered. And actually what we'll do is we'll come back and actually underdo the, the underside here. And we'll get another side, re-sand it, re-prep that, get it all done. But at least tonight we can get the main part, which is covered greatly. We'll just get that and clear tonight, come back, do a little bit more detail work make sure everything's perfect and then uh we'll but what he's not to... telling you is you're not going to see about 95 percent of this engine bay no and the second thing is not only that but there's a huge piece of insulation that goes on the firewall that covers all the work that we just did yeah. and, and <laughs> the real thing is believe it or not with this car here what you're actually going to be seeing is nothing is nothing because <laughs> the things that we're going to do to the motor 
It was just not an SRT. That's right. Just not a Hellcat. This thing is getting back lives, not taking away. That's right. So not, this not like thing, that that guy was it Demonology? Yeah. He's taking souls. Oh yeah. While uh, Demonology is over there trying to snatch souls, but even though he lost in the last race, <laughs> he sure did. He did. we saw Demonology at, at it's just a six and. Uh, he didn't uh, snatch any souls, so. It's doing wheelies the way it's. That's it right, that's right, it's pulling the front wheels, but. All right, let's get some clear back on this. This thing should be pretty legit once we get clear on it. There you go. So it's laying down pretty thick, right? There you go, better. 50% overlaps, John. There you go, hell yeah. Yeah, remember it's just a base, just a base. Yep, just the first coat, just the first coat. So I want to be doing more drag coat. No sweeps, even. How would you? Well, you stay the same distance. Come on, suck it up, Buttercup. Full lengths, John, full lengths. Start it, start it to right, go all the way to the left. There you go, full length, there you go. 50% overlap, there you go. You're going too quick. Decent. Um, you, it's all in here, you missed. Right here, you still miss. Completely dry. Yes, now come straight here. Yes. Move over. Yep, you're good. Full panels, John, full panels. No freaking half shot in it. Full panel. What's that? That's dry. Because you're too far away. That's okay. Remember, base coat. This is just a tacky coat. We're gonna come back and hit it again, right? Don't go crazy. Don't try. No runs. Doing good, there you go. This is what they see. That's good. On top, on top, on top. One long run. Long runs, all the way, front of the fender well, all the way to the end. I think you're doing great, dude. I really do. Yes, right up there. Uh, second, there. Yep. yep. And do a long sweep. Come down and go all the way down. Do that whole panel, dude. Do the whole panel. So, yeah. There you go. We're not dusting. We're painting. We're clearing. 
Hell yeah, brother. Keep going. Go all the way down. All the way down. Keep coming down farther. There you go. Good job. Wow, that looks awesome, dude. Man, keep it. That looks great, dude. Am I good? Yeah. yeah. Well, just let's give it a few minutes. Let's take a look. So now you see everything a little bit dry here, right? So, but that's no big deal because we're going to come back. This is the first coat. Let's give it 15 minutes, okay? Maybe, like, see, I don't know if that's underneath or that's the way I sprayed it. That's just the way you sprayed it, but it'll come out. That's just the base coat, so the next coat will come out much smoother. So John just laid his first coat of clear coat down. It's coming out really nice. We're getting a nice shine. First coat. So we're just going to wait about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. Let this flash, and then John's going to lay down his second coat. And we'll get this all going. Hey. What do you think, John? It's all right. <laughs> Doing good. So now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and put the second coat of clear on. John's sitting here actually spraying it. Good day. More or less. Yep, great. Don't forget to come here and hit your rail over here. Okay. Hit it again. You're going too slow. Too slow? Yeah. Slow or fast? You're going too fast. Sorry. I'm dyslexic. Did you? Yeah, much better. But go hit your fender because that's hidden, remember? Yeah. So, do this right here? yeah, that and that, that's the most important, right? Oh. Yep. Yep, you're doing fantastic. Yeah, that's dry. That's dry. Hit it again. Keep going over that again. Good? Yeah. Let me see if it lays down for you. Hell yeah, brother. Good job. Top right fender. Yeah. Top right fender over there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Going from right there on, onto the hood. Yep. 50% overlap on top, on top. There you go. Good job. Dude, that's glass. Hell yeah. What's that? Uh, no, let me get in here and look. So I'm just gonna go sweep one pass right through there on the top. Right yep. And then one higher, one higher. Golden. All right, check this out, you guys. So we didn't clear the outside here because there's a couple spots we might wanna touch up, but this is the next day. Obviously I brought it in on the lift. 
This thing came out awesome, you guys. <laughs> I, I honestly, let me put a clip over top while I'm talking here of what this looked like before, because this is huge, you guys. This looks better than the factory paint job in the engine bay now. You probably never see probably 85% of this, but this is way, way better than it ever was before. So I'm super happy about the results that this came out, you guys. Like I said, this is probably gonna be the nicest Challenger engine bay that most people have. 99% of people that ever own one of these cars just have the original factory paint, and this is way better. Like, there's way more spots that don't even have paint from the factory. Anyways, reason why it's on the lift is I brought it in here. This is the first time it's getting put on the two post. We're gonna go up with it so I can get underneath there and sand some of that stuff and get some self-fetching primer on it because there is some soot spots down there that we didn't wanna like get on our hands and knees and lay upside down for. So I'm gonna put this up. There's a lot of weight in the back, obviously no weight in the front. So once I get it up, it's already suspended, but I'm gonna put one of the safety sands in the rear just so that uh, we're all good and safe. So let's get this up. Let's get sanding under there. Okay, so she's up in the air, and this is what I was telling you guys about. There's really not much to do under here. Um, a lot of this is probably just smoke, to be honest, because underneath here never had any orange anyways. It was just factory primer like that. And so I was saying a lot of spots where we made orange really wasn't anything before. You can see just the factory gray primer that these bodies come in. So I'm gonna clean this up regardless though, make it better than new. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and I'll show you guys the results. Okay, check this out you guys. So just using some wax and grease remover, nothing crazy. And look at this, it's all cleaning up right down to the factory primer. So no sense in uh, doing anything with this. This is exactly the way it comes from the factory. So I wanted to believe in that. Plus there's a big heat blanket that goes in here, kind of like an insulation piece. There was two glued on insulation uh, with like reflective tape on there. So we'll end up putting those back over here and just gonna put some new um, insulation there. But yeah, you can see the difference. So here, and then I didn't do any of this or wipe this down so you can see how much it's cleaning up. So as long as this cleans up half decent, pretty much I'm gonna leave this and we'll end up going over here, probably primering that, primering this bare metal spot. And then we can kind of just blow this in a little bit, a little bit more than we have here. and. That's pretty much it. So let me keep cleaning this thing. All right guys, well I went ahead, I sanded it, I waxed and grease removed it, and taped everything off. So I went ahead and masked off the engine bay because I don't want any overspray getting on that, but we're gonna go ahead and dust all of this in here. So kind of taped up the transmission tunnel on that, and then I ended up primering the few areas that I needed to and kind of just gonna blow it in. Again, it's kind of just a dusting from the factory, so anything we do is gonna be better than factory. Also gonna dust in this fender well as well. Check this out you guys, I'm so happy with the results. So, came out really, really good. Like, this is like a mirror here. It's just crazy for just uh, winging it with some everyday Joe tools, really. But anyways, <clears throat> got the frame rails all done. Um, got the underside done, transmission tunnel is all done. It's gonna be a little dark in there, but it is a transmission tunnel after all. But yeah, came out really, really good. And then got this all cleared. Our uh, tape line came out really good, so it's a factory line right there. And again, you're not gonna see any of that, but this is just OCD-ness to the max. So what I gotta do now is, it is dark out, but I gotta do this part here, and then we'll probably save this for another video, but this has to be blown in as well, so I'm gonna have to sand this, and then we'll have to Kind of blow it in as well here and i also need to get one of these guys this little plastic trim piece this little rain gutter uh cover I need to get one of those but yeah overall super happy with the results let me uh cut to the morning i'm gonna sand this up this shouldn't take long because it's just a little bit through here and then in there but not a whole lot of areas and again this is all gonna be covered but we'll get that done as well okay so it's the next day engine base still looking fresh 
And what I'm gonna do now is all of this, any of these areas where it is burnt, we're gonna sand it down, self-etch primer it. So it's really only a couple major areas. So this, that, and here in the middle, and maybe one little spot over there, but let me sand those down and then we'll get to priming. All right, so there we go. Firewall is all sanded. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some self-etching primer on all the bare metal spots. If you guys are wondering, self-etching primer, and then we will move on to paint. But I am done painting, you guys. I, uh, I've had enough, so let me get this done. Okay, we've got primer on it, and I even went ahead and put seam sealer right there where it had it from the factory. So you wanna put your seam sealer on top of primer and not on direct metal, as uh, the instructions say. So. That's good, that's cure. We got everything scuffed up again with our scrubbies. Let's go ahead and make this thing orange. All right, check it out. We got our base done. Now on to some clear. All right guys, so I'm super excited because most of the paintwork is done. There's still a couple spots which I'm gonna show you in just a second, but at least now it's to the point where we could start putting this thing back together. Putting new pieces, new parts, new wiring harnesses, all that stuff, dash and that kind of thing can start to go in. So here's what it looks like from the inside. I apologize now for not showing you guys that process, but honestly, it kind of sucked. I had to pretty much put a drop sheet here and I had to put a step stool here and I had to walk inside here, this cavity here, so I get in here to paint it. It was just, that was the easiest way. Um, if you guys are, I know some guys might notice this, but there is some dust here. I gotta wipe everything down, but it's not on the panel. And anyways, these panels aren't any good. They actually got some heat. So all the pattern that's here, I got new door panels for it because these ones, the pattern is completely just kind of, uh, disappeared from the heat so don't worry too much about these panels because whatever but there is some just dust on it orange dust that wipes right off but as far as in here check that out boys so man i almost have to put some before and after over top of this because this is just so much better and again you're not going to see any of this but just knowing how it looked before and what it looked like now like it is just night and day so Definitely a lot of peace of mind knowing that it's better than factory in here now. So seam sealer all came out good. Like I said, we put that down before we hit it with color. It doesn't look any different or you know worse than factory seam sealer. It's just kind of smeared all over the place. And uh, yeah, that is there. And then I'll show you guys the two spots, which probably still need to be painted, but it's not gonna stop us from putting this thing back together. So this came out, I'm getting better at paint, boys. Like, look at that, that is like, absolute glass you can see the reflection look at that you can see the qa1 banner right there <laughs> so look at that you can even read the simpson banner right there so it's starting to come out really really good you guys like i said comparing this last part of the paint where i was laying down this glass right here compared to when i did the engine bay like everything's just getting better and better i'm getting more comfortable with paint which is kind of cool so this is like Honestly, this is like glass through here. I'm really, really liking this. So the other two spots that need to be contended with, but like I said, this won't stop us from starting to get this thing back going, is pretty much once we got like the major, major issues and areas all done, now I'm starting to see like other tiny little things. So right here, I'm gonna have to clean this up, see how much of this is or isn't affected. Kind of looks like some of the paint right there on the very edge might've gotten a little bit of heat. And then of course this. So this, I'm gonna have to sand, try to blend it in. And then also gonna have to get a new one of these weather strippings, cause this one got some heat to it, so. But overall, yeah. I, the other thing too is at some point we're probably gonna be painting the whole car. Cause I mean the car's got bumps and bruises and you know, little chips on the doors and paint's not perfect on the thing. And then we also at some point, there's a couple little spots. There's this random little hole in the bumper for some reason. So other than that, the bumper's mint. So I'll probably end up rather than replacing the whole bumper, just fix that one little hole. 
uh, some paints missing off the edge here. And then we also have, this is another major issue, I guess you could call it that, but this dent in the corridor. So from where the fire department was trying to pry the old trunk off and absolutely obliterated the old trunk, this has to get fixed. So I might try getting a PDR guy out here and then get him to try to fix all this as much as possible. And then uh, you're gonna have to paint it because that's right down to the primer right there, as you can see. But either way, can't go wrong with this boys. It is looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with the overall result. So this video is probably super long at this point. I haven't gotten to edit this, but I know it's gonna be long, but I'm excited guys. I really wanted to just get rid of all the burnt stuff, all the burnt junk, and that way we get to putting in the good stuff, the fun stuff and get going on it. Also, I will give you guys a sneak peek on this because I've been working on other stuff behind the scenes. So here's the engine. It's all stripped down, ready to go, but I'll save that for a totally separate video, you guys. But yeah, good news on the engine as well. But I'm going to continue to remind you guys, Shop Boosted is up. Same shirt that you see here, you can get on the website. Also, we've got some other products over there. So go ahead over to shopboosted.com. I continue to add more things over there that you guys can order and get shipped right to your door. So. Go over there, support your boy, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next one.